Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost here. The next generation Ryzen 7000 CPUs are just around the corner, and you better believe that they are going to change the game, and most likely they're going to power your next PC. Yes, the that good. At least, allegedly. We're now getting to a point where we're getting a lot of info on what we can expect from these CPUs. Most of it is pretty positive. During a recent investor call, AMD revealed a lot about its CPUs, including an up to 10% improvement in IPC, a more than 15% improvement in single thread performance, and not to mention the fact that AMD CPUs are finally getting AVX 512 support. And while we don't know exactly how well these CPUs are going to perform in the real world, all of that should still manifest itself in some pretty huge performance gains compared to the previous generation Zen 3 CPUs, and especially compared to what Intel currently have to offer with Alder Lake. And the best part is that you can get your hands on these CPUs actually pretty soon, because some leaked slides from a Chinese presentation on these very CPUs reveals that they're going to be launching on the 15th of September. So you probably should start saving up right now, because this kind of performance probably won't be cheap, let's be honest. Though it's not all sunshine and rainbows in the red camp, don't get me wrong, there are a few, well, worrying things coming out about these CPUs as well. Firstly, AMD have been very quiet about 3D vCache in these brand new Ryzen 7000 CPUs, and now we know why, because they won't chip with it by default. Instead, AMD are going to have separate 3D vCache SKUs similar to how we had the 5800X and the 5800X 3D last generation. So not only is it going to make the product line more confusing, but it also means that people may be missing out on a lot of performance because they're going to be running non-3D vCache chips. And many people may not even be aware of what exactly 3D vCache is supposed to do or how it's supposed to help. So unless AMD really go out of the way to market right, many people may not see the advantages of what exactly 3D vCache will do and why they should bother picking up this more expensive CPU instead. So while the lack of 3D vCache by default is kind of disappointing, the amount of performance we will get out of these CPUs is enough to keep the hype alive nonetheless. Between all the improvements in architecture to the inclusion of DDR5 memory and a much more capable socket, well Zen 4 and Ryzen 7000 are going to be huge for us PC nerds when they drop in September as long as there aren't any delays, because everything's still possible. But let me know what you think of Ryzen 7000 down in the comments below. Are you picking one of these brand new CPUs up? Let me know down in the comments below. Or let me know if you're waiting for something like Intel Rapid Lake instead, because that's apparently coming later this year as well. And hey, while you're still here, and you want to help me make even better videos in the future, then the best way to ensure that will happen is to support us on Patreon. Because even just one single dollar month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. The support truly goes a long way. Danny you're also going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.